What is good? What is good? It is Ice, and we're here for some new Dragon Ball Sparking gameplay. This came out a few hours ago. I would have loved to actually like record this earlier, like as soon as it came out. But one, I woke up an hour late, and two, um, I had to go somewhere immediately after I woke up. So regardless, it was gonna be tight for me to get this out in time. So I would just like freak it. I'll go do what I gotta do and come back. Uh, this is number one on trending, which is always nice to see. Always nice to see. Uh, I'm just going to react to this trailer. I have not seen anything about it. I avoided everything while I was gone. And uh, that's really about it. Hit that like button. That's the subscribe button. And let's just dive right on into this. Let's see. What oh, shoot. Okay. I will defeat you this day. Hey, he got the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie uh, stand. Yeah, yeah. The game looks so good. This is actual gameplay. Look at the UI. Whoa, look at the UI. Okay, hold up. Give me one second. All right, so we got the UI. I'm assuming this is the health bar. And this is like the amount of health bars we have. So it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven health bars. Uh, I'm assuming this is like what it was in Budokai Tekaiji 3, uh, where if you get like one stack, you are able to do your ultimate. So I'm going to assume before we continue watching this fight. Anything else? I realize I don't really think so. I think we'll let this play for a bit. Alright. I like the UI. Web. Like, when you get hit, like, your character flashes. That's interesting. Wait, hold up. He he was flashing there. Hold up. He was flashing there. Hold on. Okay, I might I might run this straight through and we'll talk. We'll go a little bit back. I'll point out some things as, we, as it goes, but I won't pause it. Why now? I'm noticing there's, like, some moments where, like, Goku's flashing. Right? Oh, the camera, too. Look at that. The camera's very dynamic. And he got the hits on the bottom, the, the top left of the screen, pretty much. And then a Kamei Ha there. That was nice. I wonder what this um up arrow icon below Goku is. Like, right next to Goku. I wonder. But we'll pause that once I try to figure that out. Ooh. Ooh, cutscene attacks. Okay, wait. Why was that the case? We'll go back. We'll go back. I wonder why that happened specifically. Okay, cut ahead. Now it looks like they both got four, uh, four numbers. Is this Raiden Soul? Wait. What? Oh, whoa! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Final Flash? Oh, okay. So you you can you can't be forced to lock off. Oh, it's going Super Saiyan Blue. Okay, the transformation is gas. The transformation is gas. Okay. Boost. Okay, just, they got that the boost thing. Okay, that was just like a super godfis or something. Goku running away. Boy, you can barely see Vegeta back there. That make a shoot something. I want to see it. Oh, they got the D flag. Okay. Okay, okay, they went blue as well, and obviously the thing changed as it goes. Okay, so they did use the up icon earlier, I just wonder. I'm gonna let this play, though. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, okay, nice weave. Wait, weave, weave? Okay, what's that taking? Is that taking any resources? I wasn't paying attention. I wonder. Okay, so now it's his turn. I'm gonna call it Rage Soul for the time being. But okay, what's he doing? Oh, Kamei, huh? Boy, this looks this looks like so good. Oh, we clashing? Okay, how's the clash look like? How's the clash look like? Oh, it oh, it's timed. Whoa! Okay, I don't even fully understand how that worked, but it looks like it's like a time sequence. Like you press at the right time. Right, is that it? Is that it? I want to talk about a few things. I'm not gonna lie. By the way, first of all, the OST, loving it. Loving the OST. The OST is nice. I'm liking it so far. It gets that nostalgia Dragon Ball feel, right? It seems like just by dashing, it uses key, right? So I'm, I won't be pausing on stuff like that. Why did this icon pop up? Is my first question it looks like a buff maybe but i don't see how that's the case 
because all Goku was doing was just moving around, and then and in this exact same frame, this popped up. So I wonder what this means. I'll mention something if I can see it again. Yeah, this this when he does um energy shockwave. When Goku does energy shockwave right here, when he's like flat, glowing white, does that mean he has invincibility? That might be what that means. He might have invincibility on this move, or is this move is enhanced due to some reason? It could be because of this or just oh, i'm just completely wrong so my guess so far this is either armor or this is armor invincibility or some type of boost i just i think it's one of the three because i don't think they would just show a white aura for no reason i don't think they would uh let me see he got it right there why i'm really curious what this is i think there's more information about stuff about sparking about the mechanics and stuff and we'll go over that but i want to break this down in my perspective first before we get to that information so this said boost or something when it was doing comedy huh yeah boost okay so you obviously you can boost comedy huh how much damage does this do about ten thousand damage and how much is that for a bar all right so it's right there i think that's over a yeah ten thousand is basically a whole bar right so vg is powering up back there this game looks so good. Even though I'm not seeing it in the best of quality. It looks so good. Okay, I think that's why I was thinking to turn the night because this raging soul ability. This reminds me of Xenoverse like one or Budokai Tenkaichi 3, where the key is just draining. It's draining mad quick. It looks like I don't Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's just it's its own time. I don't think there's any way to like slow it down or speed it up. So yeah, that final flash did some good damage, right there. Go go going blue, which is which looks nice, right? Wait, did he lose all those stacks? Does these um does this thing right here is this how you transform? Because he loses these when he transforms. So like I'm gonna keep my mouse right here. If y'all wait, I don't know y'all can see my mouse. I'll zoom in if y'all can't. Yeah, it's gone, right? Okay, Vegeta will transform in a little bit. So I'm going to pay attention to Vegeta a little bit. So he got one back. He just used Godfist. Godfist does about 14,000. Wow. Okay. Okay. When you have five, when you have five, it's like flaring. It's just the number is flaring up. Like, it's like you're at the max. You can do something with it. Right. And it doesn't look like Gala. Yeah. Going. Okay. Wait, that took two bars to transform. That took two jar, two jars, two bars to transform because he goes from five, and then after this you'll see it will go to three. Yeah, he goes to three, and the um, icon that I was talking about is also gone. So I wonder is that just pure timing, or it also plays a factor into transformation, right? Dodge. So it is taking key. It is taking key. And that's really all I wanted to see on that. Um, okay, so so now Goku's in Raging Soul. I'm gonna call it Raging Soul because I don't know what it is, right? And we'll check we'll check out the information afterwards. So you can boost this. I don't know if is he click is he clicking boost right now or is he just refusing to click it? And here's the clash. Let me see if I can understand this. Right? One, two, three, four, five. I I don't I don't think the Goku player was trying. I don't know because I saw the boost or whatever, but he wasn't going to it. I don't really know. That was lit. That was lit. The gameplay was lit. So now we're going to like speed ahead a little bit. We kept the battle system such as the Dragon Dash, which enables high speed movement in a kind of counter system that fans know and love. Okay, so it's just like that. And also, as well as an impact action, which allows basically cuts an exchange of energy blasts. Yeah. We have also paid attention to the graphics aspect, so you can enjoy not only the challenge of the battles themselves, but also the fun of just watching them. Yeah, spectating these matches will be sick. We need a spectator mode. Like, real junk. Actually, I'm going to save, like, things I would like to see in this game for a different video. But spectate mode would definitely be one of them. One of the biggest challenges was to boost the normal movement, making it as fast as the dash in the previous tile. And to allow a short dash, I'll let you move at lightning speed with a button that's used for dashing. Okay. This changes opens up more possibilities for movement, attacks on the go, and even more complex options. 
unleashing a charge attack or even a key blast while moving or linking to a dragon dash to pull out a huge movement in one goal skill count wait what besides the basic action the new entry has also introduced actions using skill count that builds over time during battle revenge counter which lets you strike back while absorbing an opponent's attack oh that i didn't even fully realize this i didn't even fully realize this i was i was so caught up with other stuff <laughs> but I don't, I don't think i realized this yeah and an action that enables high speed attacks and defense that are unique to Dragon Ball, as seen in the original story. Okay. Where characters launch an attack even while being hit. Super perception, a counter command that lets you counterattack in anticipation. Bova, Bova is only triggered when you have enough skill count. Oh, so the, that's, that's, this is skill count. This is skill count. I'm assuming. You did use a skill count to um, stop that beam, right? Yeah, it took two. Okay. The choice you have to defy it makes the games more fun. Yeah, I really like the like the, the defensive option seems pretty good in this game so far. Last but not least, we added a new action called key using key called vanishing assault that lets you approach an opponent instantly and swoop in. I'm sure you love this new option mid range where it's hard to choose whether to attack from afar or get up close and personal. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So um okay, so we got these skill counts, we got revenge counter. Uh, we got like a lot of stuff. We got like the traditional dash and we got key clashes and stuff like that. Bro, this game, this game is probably going to be one of them, not the best anime game, as long as they do it right, that we got in in a minute. Like, like we could talk about games like um, Storm Connections. Like we could talk about Storm Connections and how much they're um not only their marketing but the fact that their, their marketing is garbage and the initial launch of storm is just like what the heck and they just have not said anything like we can talk about that but this sparking zero seems to be like they generally do care about making the game as fun as possible while also giving us a lot of options and stuff and i think this game regardless if you own the game or not would be enjoyable to experience from watching or playing i think that's what it is that's gonna pretty much be my thoughts i did my best to break down what i could with it before looking at this new information hope you guys enjoy hit this like hit this hit the like button and that subscribe button for more and um i'll catch you guys in the next one peace